This aircraft doesn't show up on radar, doesn't broadcast its position, and by the time your systems realize it's there, your command post is already gone. This is the F-35 Lightning II, a stealthy, sensor-packed multi-role fighter jet built for 21st century warfare. But how exactly did they manage to give the F-35 Lightning II such a massive upper hand? Can one jet really dominate every domain of modern warfare? In the 1990s, the US military realized it needed a new kind of warplane for the post-Cold War era. Rather than build separate jets for the Air Force, Marines, and Navy, the Pentagon launched the Joint Strike Fighter Program in 1995. The idea was ambitious – one airframe that could serve every service's needs and satisfy allies, sharing parts and lowering costs. It stood as a reminder that American engineering and ingenuity could achieve the seemingly impossible, while ushering in the new age of military aeronautics. By 2001, Lockheed Martin won the competition with its X-35 prototype, beating Boeing's X-32, and the program became the F-35 Lightning II. The Lightning II comes in three main variations – the F-35A for conventional runways, the F-35B with short takeoff slash vertical landing for Marines and British carriers, and the F-35C built for catapult launchers on supercarriers, the Navy variant. All share 80 to 90 percent of their parts and identical fifth-generation avionics and software. We joined teams with Rolls-Royce and Hamilton Sundstrand to create a revolutionary propulsion system that allowed for shatteringly short takeoff times. Nine original partner countries funded its development: the United States, United Kingdom, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, Turkey, Australia, Canada, and Denmark. Later, more allies and partners joined as customers, including Israel, Japan, South Korea, Singapore, Belgium, and Poland. What makes the Lightning II truly unique is its blend of stealth shape, sensors, and data networking. Its low observable design radically reduces its radar and infrared signature. Its body has carefully aligned edges and angles that scatter radar waves, plus a special radar-absorbent gray paint coating to soak up signals. But stealth is only part of the equation. The F-35 is less a fighter, more like a flying data center with missiles, gathering, processing, and sharing more battlefield data than any aircraft before it. All weapons and fuel are carried inside its belly or internal bays, hiding them from enemy sensors. Even the engine exhaust is designed to lower heat, making the jet very hard to spot on infrared cameras. The F-35 has one of the most advanced electronic warfare suites in history, able to detect, jam, or spoof enemy radars. It carries a vast sensor package far beyond what older jets had. The heart of this is the AN-APG-81 Acer radar, a powerful electronically scanned array that can track multiple air and ground targets simultaneously. Around the fuselage are six infrared cameras that give the pilot a 360-degree view in infrared. There's also an electro-optical targeting system in the nose that functions like an IR camera combined with a laser designator. All these sensors feed into the F-35's brain, advanced sensor fusion software. Instead of forcing a pilot to juggle many screens, the Lightning II condenses data onto one cockpit display and even onto the helmet visor. It was to have better range and require less logistics support than current military aircraft. The Pentagon is still calling the F-35, quote, the most affordable, lethal, supportable, and survivable aircraft ever to be used. Inside the pilot's helmet, video from the infrared cameras is projected so the pilot can literally look through the airframe. The helmet also overlays targeting information, threat warnings, and navigation cues right in the pilot's view. As a result, the F-35 gathers, fuses, and displays more battlefield data than any fighter in history. Pilots describe it as being the quarterback of a football team. If one F-35 detects a hostile radar emission, it can send that data instantly via secure data links to nearby aircraft, ships, or command centers. In effect, each F-35 becomes a flying sensor node. A US pilot put it this way. 
The F-35 can take in and share so much data across the force, it makes every platform more lethal and survivable. The Lightning II is also well armed. It can carry a mix of missiles and bombs internally or on external hardpoints if stealth isn't needed. Inside its weapons bays, it can hide four or five air-to-air -air missiles, like AIM-120s or AIM-9Xs, or a few large precision bombs. With the bays open, the plane's signature rises, so in the stealthiest missions, it flies clean. It can hang much larger loads externally, with up to 18,000 pounds of munitions on wing pylons. There are even plans to fit more advanced weapons in future upgrades. After years of testing, the F-35 started joining frontline squadrons in the mid-2010s. The Marine Corps declared their F-35B variant operational in 2015, followed by the Air Force's F-35A in 2016 and the Navy's F-35C in 2019. Since then, Lightning IIs have flown combat missions alongside allies in the Middle East and beyond. The first combat use of an F-35 was by Israel in 2018. The Israeli Air Force, using their F-35I Adir jets, announced they had flown strikes against targets in Syria. Shortly after, US forces put the F-35 in action. The same F-35Is played a major role in the unfolding of Israel's Operation Rising Lion against Iran starting June 13, 2025. Their main targets were high-priority spots like nuclear sites and military command centers deep inside Iran. In April 2019, two USAF F-35As flew a combat sortie over Iraq against ISIS, dropping JDAM smart bombs. Two F-35Bs had already flown missions in Afghanistan and Iraq earlier with the Marines in 2018. These strikes proved the jet's secret source. The pilot remarked that the F-35 has sensors everywhere, gathering information from the battle space in real time. The F-35 fits seamlessly into the combined joint air power team. In 2018, Britain also used its F-35Bs in combat for the first time. Australia has flown Lightning II sorties with coalition forces. Other partners like Norway and Italy are preparing for their first combat missions. There have been no air-to-air -air duels between F-35s and enemy fighters. The F-35 slips into hostile airspace, locates enemy air defenses or command sites, drops smart weapons, and slips out. In one example, Israeli pilots said F-35s disappeared from Syrian air defense radar. Pilots tout the second seat that F-35s give to the world's intelligence networks. Rather than battling one-on-one, -on -one, an F-35 pilot might stay miles behind enemy lines. More than a dozen countries operate the Lightning II. This has transformed NATO and other coalitions. F-35s have been one of the most effective integration tools for NATO since the end of the Cold War. A US F-35 and a Dutch or Norwegian F-35 can coordinate an attack as naturally as two jets from the same squadron. Joint exercises routinely feature mixed squadrons of F-35s speaking the same data link language. Allied F-35s patrol the skies over Eastern Europe. The first US F-35A squadron in Europe is based in Britain. They frequently fly missions with the RAF's own F-35Bs. Carriers like the USS George Washington now carry F-35Cs on board. In the Indo-Pacific, F-35s help keep watch over vast ocean areas. The US Marines have permanently deployed an F-35B squadron to Japan. Japan's F-35As and South Korean jets watch the skies alongside them. Australia has ordered nearly 100 F-35As for its RAAF, the F-35's sales and partnerships also carry politics. 
Turkey was originally a partner, but that was cancelled after Turkey bought Russian S-400 missiles. Israel negotiated special terms for its F-35Is. The sale of F-35As to the United Arab Emirates marked the first export to a Gulf nation. From the start, the program was the target of intense scrutiny. Its development dragged on for decades, with massive cost overruns. The F-35 program will cost over $1.7 trillion over its lifetime. Some alarmists still talk about a $2 trillion price tag. That's more than almost any other single military program in history. Beyond money, the F-35 has struggled with technical hiccups. Software delays have been chronic. A recent FY 2025 Pentagon test report noted developers are still behind schedule on key software updates. Earlier, production slowed due to faulty parts and cockpit system failures. The logistics system has been criticized for being overly complex. F-35 readiness rates have often lagged behind targets. Many aircraft need depot-level work or suffer paperwork errors before they can fly. Critics ask whether the F-35 was too big to fail. Some argue that the US might have been better off buying simpler aircraft. The F-35 sacrifices some maneuverability for stealth. However, F-35 supporters counter that all complex programs face teething issues. They point out that the F-35 delivers a level of sensor fusion and connectivity older jets cannot match. Generals and pilots often praise the jet as a game-changer. In congressional hearings, military leaders have defended the F-35, even critics acknowledge that no modern rival currently matches the full stealth sensor suite package. The debate over Lightning II is fierce and ongoing. Whether the F-35 ends up worth the cost will be decided over decades. The F-35 is not standing still. The big push is Block 4, a series of upgrades scheduled through the late 2020s. Block 4 will let the jet carry new munitions and beef up its sensors. An improved radar signal processor and expanded memory will allow faster data analysis. Upgrades will enhance the electronic warfare gear. Block 4 is like a quantum leap in capability. Technology refreshers are building an open architecture brain for the jet. Israel has already added some of its domestic tech. New displays and processors will make the cockpit even slicker. The F-35 is being woven into future multi-domain strategies. We may see F-35s controlling unmanned wingmen or feeding target data to satellites. The F-35 is a key player in joint all-domain command and control. Lockheed Martin and the services are planning for the F-35 to stick around a long time. There's talk of flying Lightning IIs into the 2060s. By then, a sixth-generation fighter may start to take over some roles. Whether you see it as a trillion-dollar mistake or a marvel of engineering, one thing is clear. The F-35 is not just shaping battles, it's shaping how wars are fought. See you next time.